This video demonstrates Terascan wizard for photogrammetric point cloud processing. The wizard is a highly automated top speed tool for point cloud processing, first implemented for UAV LiDAR clouds and now extended for photogrammetric point cloud processing. The workflow begins with the one dialog import tool. The dialog combines data import, reference system adjustments and the most important cleanup steps. At the moment of release, the tool supports Agisoft Metashape and Pix4D as data sources. Data reprojections can be applied using EPSG codes of the reference systems or by defining custom coordinate systems. Finally, the tool stores the project files to a standardized folder structure. Running the tool, the software initializes a CAD file if one is not yet open and creates a point class definition file. In addition, point cloud is loaded. In the beginning, points are stored in the default class without any object classification. The point cloud in this example was computed with Agisoft Metashape and pictures were captured with DJI P1 camera. Being a photogrammetric point cloud, each point has RGB color attribute. Visualization by color gives easy to understand image look like a visualization. Display by elevation coloring gives us understanding of objects and the area topography. Vegetation index display mode aims to highlight vegetation points with green color. Visualization by reliability aims to highlight the quality of the point cloud. Availability of the reliability value depends on the generating software. After import and short exploration, the workflow proceeds with data processing. The first step is cut low reliability. It aims to remove low quality points if higher quality points are available from the same object. The second step focuses on noise removal. It identifies isolated points and points floating around hard surfaces. The cross-section view on the right shows some points identified as noise with light red color. The third step after noise removal is point cloud thinning. Thinning optimizes rest of the processes by balancing the point distribution. Thinning does not delete points, but points remain in separate class and the classification result is copied to that class after final classification. Measuring the point density of the sample, the point density of all points in the ground level is roughly 300 points per square meter. Considering only points not filtered in thinning, the corresponding point density is roughly 50 points per square meter. Filtered points show up with gray color in the cross-section view on the right. After thinning, the fourth step in the workflow is ground classification. The ground classification of photogrammetric data in the wizard is planned to take into account characteristics of photogrammetric point clouds. Photogrammetric can't penetrate thick vegetation as LiDAR can. Looking only geometry of the point cloud, thick low vegetation could easily end up in the ground classification as point cloud doesn't contain observations below the vegetation layer. The wizard ground classification can estimate the probability of a point being vegetation using the vegetation index. Finally, the ground classification algorithm can adjust the likelihood of a point being added to ground using the vegetation index. In the cross-section view, ground points are represented with brown color. Comparing with the vegetation index values, we can see how the ground classification was able to avoid the plantation points in front of the building facade, although the ground is not really visible in the point cloud. Overall, after ground classification, it's important to check the result, for example using the shaded surface view, as the rest of the steps are dependent on the ground classification result. After verifying the ground doesn't have any spikes or holes, you can continue with the fifth step 
to classify above ground objects. The fifth step simply computes the distance from the ground and divides points to high, medium and low observations. The sixth step applies grouping for high and medium class points to identify individual objects. After grouping, these points are assigned individual target object classes. Looking at the result, we can see, for example, trees, buildings and cars being displayed by different colors. Enabling all the classes, we still have unclassified the inactive class, which thinning removed. The last two steps assign these points class using their distance to the processed points. This way we finally get a high density result while the computational time remains reasonable. In addition to executing these tasks through the dialog, the workflow can be saved to a macro file. Macro files are like task lists containing settings and commands of the software tools. Using macros, we can document our process and easily repeat the same processing steps with different datasets. As a final result of the wizard process, we have fully classified point cloud ready for analysis, dem extraction or delivery.